one. Valor Morgulis, folks. I want a beer. <laughs> I want more beer. Stop what the hell is this? Stop your whining and get to whining, <laughs> dude. I am the mighty plantain. The whiny bastard over here is Boosh. And I'm yes, a wino. <laughs> we usually do beers, but every now and then we digress and do wines. And I couldn't pass this well, one even up. Even then, we don't really digress. I mean, it's yeah, no. wines. Wines are Still actually. Booze. They're. I've tr I've tried them when they were pretty much just back in. It's it's kind of like beer. Yeah. I mean, wine has actually progressed uh, a lot like beer. Things are getting uh, a little it, crazy. Right, and you get more craft wines now. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a lot in Maine now, actually. Some wineries that are, that are going on. Dragonfly is pretty decent. Yeah, and um, um, cellar door. Yep. Another one. And uh, we've had we the rough. We shop. have That's had a, a few. Local place too. We have had a had a few few yeah. other beers as well. I mean, not beers, uh, wines <laughs> as well. <laughs> and really, they're they're actually making a little bit of a of a comeback. Actually, is mm -hmm. if you could say that. I mean, <laughs> I think you can say that. To kind of parallel along with that, we're seeing some uh, some gimmick beers. And this would actually be classified. Mean gimmick wines. Cla no, I was going to say gimmick beers. And this would classify as a gimmick wine. Okay. See. So uh, what we've got is we've got Game of Thrones red wine. Now, yeah. there's nothing on the front here. It just says Game of Thrones red wine. There's no clever name. There's no tie-in to the show in the name other than the imagery here. Uh, this was made in, two th bottled in 2014. Uh, Paso Robles. Vinted and bottled by Seven Kingdoms Wines in Hopland, California. I've never heard of Seven Kingdoms Wines. So at least it's not a huge label. Hopland, California. I've never heard of Hopland, yeah. California. From the arid climate of Dorne to the lush vineyards of the Reach, <clears throat> the topography of the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros is as diverse as the wine we produce against the backdrop of the ever-evolving struggle for the Iron Throne and amidst the howling winds of winter, nobles raise their glasses and toast to luck in the wars to come. See, do you like Re Game of Thrones? I have finally caught up, yes. It's a damn good show. And you are watching it. Okay. Yeah. So See, I, I, have, I haven't been, so... Yeah, you should check it out. For the very, at the very least, you'll understand all the memes people are posting on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. probably. But here's the deal. Um, I've seen a couple of gimmick beers that tied into TV shows. We had Cheers, Norm's yep. Amber Ale. Yep. Um, there was a Mash beer. There, there's been a couple of others. And they've just honestly been garbage. But it was a publicity stunt and a money grab to tie some one popular property into another. But one that we've had, mm -hmm. Marsh Island. It's, that's not really a promotional tie into a TV show. It's True. just a reference True. to Trailer Park Boys <laughs> and Patrick Swayze. That was actually a very good beer. That was a damn good beer. But that it wasn't one very of these good beer. officially licensed promotional tie ins. Okay. okay. Of the officially licensed promotional tie ins, they've all been crap. No, I am not crapping on Swayze. That is a damn good video. <laughs> check it out if you get a chance. But anyway, the video. Yeah, well, the video, and check out the beer, for Christ's sake. Well, yeah, that's true. Too. Not available outside the state of Maine, but... And also, watch Trailer Park Boys. Well, yeah, that's a hilarious show. Everybody should be watching that anyway. Yep. Um, well, everybody that's uh, over the age of 21. Well, yes. <laughs> so I have to admit to a bit of trepidation about this, this wine, because... It looks, again, like a cheap promotional tie-in. It could be, but... I don't even know. There's, this is completely sealed. And it feels like metal under there. So I kind of want to get the corkscrew just in case, but I... Well, you do kind of have it at your side if you need I it. Do. But... but here's the thing. If this is a screw-on cap, and I put the corkscrew through it, I'm going to look like an ass... Not that that's a problem Actually, anyway. Actually, just, just peel the plastic off. Yeah, it's foil. Well, plastic, foil, whatever it is. The big difference. 
If this is plastic, you'd be willing to chew on it. If it's foil, would you want to chew on it? I'd still chew on it. You don't have any fillings in that mouth of yours? I do have one. Okay, then hit that with a piece of foil. You tell me how that feels. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> For crying out loud. Uh, yeah, I tried that. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't. I don't have any finger fingernails, so. Yeah, I might have to edit down this video for crying out loud. What the hell? So already, you have a this good wine, packaging. This wine is losing points because I can't get into the damn thing. <laughs> See, I, I would just plop the corkscrew through here, but I have no idea whether or not that's a cork. And if it's not a cork, then putting the corkscrew in it's going to be a mistake. <laughs> Right, and it's just going to make it worse. So if you guys are doing any more of these, make sure you include a freaking tab to start pulling the foil off. <laughs> well, he's just getting a little flakes of the, of the, of the foil. Now, yeah, because so. it's not perforated and there's no tab. You know what? I'm going to go up because that's going to tell me something. There we go. Sounds like you got it. There, it's actually a cork. It All is right. a cork, so. but it has the the foil top. Actually, the cork is in there pretty good, actually. Yeah. There you go. All right. <sighs> Challenge number one, for Christ's sake. It's okay. Hmm. Well, then all this, and hopefully there's no other challenge. Holy shit, that is a nice deep that dark red, real, though. Yes, it is. That's more burgundy. Matter of fact, I think Crayola would consider wow. it wine colored. <laughs> yeah, wine colored. All right, well, was it worth the effort? Smells good. What was that actually supposed to be? Was it supposed to be a red wine? It just says I mean, red just, wine. doesn't yeah. classify it as any particular type. That is a very, very dark. It's got some weak legs. Well, maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. No, it's, it, it definitely smells like a wine. Yeah, there's no color to the legs, but it is taking a while to drip down. It is clinging. So they're pretty no good. color. They're yeah. pretty good. Well, usually, even with the with the legs there, that's not really colored. It's got a beautiful color, but... Yes, it mm. does. I don't know about that aroma. It's almost... Really, it's almost a black color. Yeah, I like the darkness. It's very, very... Give it a, give it a sniff. Mm. And Cause... you definitely have that smell. I mean, it's got a whiny smell, but it's almost... <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a little off-putting. There's like a chemical smell there. Am I the only one getting that? Like a mm -hmm. little bit of a hint of a chemical smell. It's it does have that, but I can also it's it really does have a dark smell as well. A dark wine. Really, it it, it has that. You're not getting a hint of fruitiness, but I'm also getting oh, yeah. like old turpentine or something. I'm getting that grape. Mm. Well, you know what it could have been? That first batch was through mm. pretty much a clean, and they're getting, you could get that little bit of a smell from uh, if they when they sterilize the bottle for one, or if they uh, uh, ran like a a certain ran like a cleaner through their uh, their uh, their process. That's what I'm getting. It's carpet cleaner. <laughs> carpet cleaner. Carpet Those cleaner. Old Stanley steamers you'd rent at the supermarket. All right. See, I'm I'm not getting that flavor. I'm not getting that smell. Actually, I'm getting that wine smell. And I know you just tasted it, so. Yeah. And are uh, you getting that taste? 
Well, it was bottled in 2014, so maybe we waited too long to drink it, but... It's kind of awful. <laughs> really, it... It doesn't have that wine taste, but... It still has an okay flavor. I... That's weird. It just doesn't... Well, it depends, I guess. See, I poured your glass first, and you're not being completely really, turned off by it like I am. I'm just... I'm not completely turned off, but I'm not turned on by it, neither. No. See, and I as just... far as that goes, as far as the, the wine, it has that wine flavor, and it has the... It, it just, to me, it doesn't taste that great. And being connected, like like you've said, a lot of the stuff that has meaning, so mm. so to speak, hasn't tasted that great. But I don't know. For me, this I, is just awful. Yeah, it's awful. And it's, I mean, I mean, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say it was bottled in 2014. I might have bought it a year ago. Well, it depends I mean, on how long have you've had it. By then. I, it I depends believe. on how long you've had it, but you also, from what I've, what I understand, is as far as wine goes, the way you store it makes a difference. Yeah, well, maybe. And really, but I mean, we're not wine connoisseurs anyway. I mean, we don't know everything that that Our there is. Our expertise lies with beer. Right. And, and we try, we try. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. We try and actually put our, our flavor on different things too as well. And yeah. really, for somebody, this might actually be good, but I'm to each his own. I'm going to dump it, I think. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for me, I was already predisposed towards thinking it was garbage because... Because everything else that has been linked to something hmm. as far as that has been garbage with but the one exception with that brewery, one exception brewery omengong has done a series of beers with the game of thrones connection okay and well those have been good because see, i haven't actually tried that but. good beers to begin with but the other thing is there was there's one other beer that i actually want to try that's actually connected to well people know it but uh, Broken Skull IPA. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to try that. If it somebody can get that. <laughs> and I know it's done by uh, Nevada Brewing, I think. Not Nevada. It's not right. Sierra Nevada, is it? No. I was going to say, oh, isn't it an independent It's in California. Yeah. It's in California. And I, I've looked it up before and I can't, I can't remember the name that... <laughs> I can't remember the brewery that did it. But if somebody has a, has a connection to that... Yeah. Get it to us. <laughs> get you, and we get know... a couple of free And the thing is, we know... Now you're hitting everybody up for them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, and now we know... I mean, we all know who who that is, so... Yeah. <laughs> but I this, can't even keep drinking this. I'm, I, and neither can I. I mean, yeah. it has that wine flavor, but it yeah. it may have... We, we actually... As far as wine goes, we don't know if it really turned in the bottle, which it could have. It but, might have. I mean... I'm going to hit it with a one out of five. It just know. depends on when you bought it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not undrinkable, but I am not going to drink it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... It, it's... I wouldn't either. Yeah. It does have the flavor of wine in, the, in right now, but it just doesn't taste like a good... A good I'm not enjoying that. it at all. Neither am I. I mean, I'll drink it. I'll force myself to drink it if I needed it to get drunk. Or, <laughs> you know, but I don't drink just to get drunk. I drink to enjoy the experience. So That's right. Ugh. All right, so I'm not going to force myself to finish this. I got other options. Mm. But, I mean, that's just our opinion. I mean, what do you right. get this on a scale of one to five? Where are you putting it? I'm putting it at a zero. 
<laughs> so you talk a nice game, but you're actually but, reading but it it's more like than it's, I did. <laughs> you're just trying to be the nice because I'm a prick. I'm trying to be nice, but it yeah. just it doesn't have that flavor. It doesn't. I mean, it has the wine flavor, but it doesn't have a good wine flavor. I'll put it that way. And again, and it with and, the disclaimer, this might have gone bad. That's true. And, but I've had it in in home stored at room temperature. Yes. Right, room temperature, but you right. actually are supposed to like store it at an angle yeah. and different. I, I, I just, it's just it's stupid that we have to that we have to yeah. do stuff like that to actually make it. But mm. it's it's just that's just the way it is. It's been at room temperature for less than a year, so maybe right. it did turn, and we're not giving it a fair assessment. But right. But, it, I mean, it doesn't... <sighs> if it's turned, usually what, what they say is it tastes like vinegar, but mm -hmm. it doesn't... It doesn't it taste doesn't like vinegar, taste like vinegar like but crap. it just doesn't taste good. Which actually, I said I'm not you... finishing it, but I keep sipping off of it, hoping it's going to get better. <laughs> <laughs> right, and it's not. Right. Dude, that's why I haven't tasted taken taken a sip off of it. Yet. Yeah, I'm just an but alcoholic. That's all there is to that. The thing is, <laughs> we're gonna be honest with it, and that's actually what what it is. I mean, yeah. we don't really, even if it is bad, we're still gonna give it a given a decent rating. But yeah. it's still, to me, to me, don't bother drinking it. But mm. taste it for yourself. Anyway, yeah, maybe you store because, it properly, or right. maybe you're more of a wine connoisseur, right? And you could actually tell us later on, actually, if it if it's what it's supposed to taste like. But the other yeah. thing is, is that we don't have really any other. Um, if it's supposed to be a Pinot Noir or yeah, yeah. or anything like that, we don't know what it's supposed to be like. But yeah. at any rate, hit us up down in the comments and the email link down below. If you've had this wine, if you like it, dislike it, still want to hear from you. Yep. Uh, while you're down there, make sure to like and share the video and subscribe. Although, if you're a really huge Game of Thrones fan or a really huge red wine fan, you might have you won't. hated the fuck out of this review and you won't want to do that. But hey. But still, even if you are a Game <laughs> of Thrones fan, you can try it anyway. Yeah. Now, I'm also wondering it. Is it is it like a wine that they actually show in the show? Or? No, 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 no. I mean the imagery on the bottle ties into the show, but honestly, if they drink red wine, it, whatever, it it, it's just generic red I, wine. I've never have, actually seen any any of yeah, the shows. So yeah. it, it's, there's no there's no tie in other than the fact this has the Game of Thrones logo on it, some artwork. Oh. It's, there's nothing to say. Oh, this is something. But who knows? They might have actually licensed yeah. it. Well, them, I'll so. obviously yeah. licensed. I got HBO right on the label here. Actually, yeah, but, I'm reading yeah. that right now. <laughs> it's it's not good. But again, maybe we screwed up, right. and we want to hear about it if we did. And the other thing is, HBO really has some good shows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sopranos. <laughs> That's what we need. Which we actually need a nice Italian vino. We need we need another we need another show like The Sopranos. <laughs> actually, maybe. And I've been watching that lately. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I want to take another sip because I don't want to waste wine. But I ain't doing it. You don't want to waste alcohol. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, we've uh, we've gone on enough about this. As far as we're concerned, it's crap wine. And we'd like to hear from anybody who actually knows better than us and, and has had a different experience with it. Till next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Keep drinking. And it might make you cry, or you might enjoy this, but I'm dumping this fucking bottle. Love it or not. And you might it. actually show the video of dumping the bottle. Maybe. Not a bad <laughs> idea. No. Actually, you probably won't. Thanks but. for tuning in. Cheers. Keep drinking. Just not this crap. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Say at a 45 degree angle and room temperature. Come on, man. It's just, it's just a freaking melon. <laughs>